Hey everyone, Saturday night. Just setting up some dinner here. This is one of my favorites actually. It's uh, chicken tikka masala. Um, not marsala, the Italian version. It's masala, the Indian version. Um, very, very simple. It's grilled chicken. Actually done in the wok right here. I'm standing still steel wok. Uh, onions, heavy cream, seasoning, and tomato sauce. That's basically it. So I'm at the point right now that I've ground the chicken, take it out, melt the butter, and you add the onions, let them um, cook for about three minutes until they're translucent. Then you add the uh, chicken back in with the tomato sauce and the seasonings. So that's the point I'm at right now. It's supposed to cook for about 10 minutes, and then you add the heavy cream. Now, I've made this as a double pack um, because I always like to cook for extra, just in case anyone just happens to pop by. It has happened. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to add the heavy cream now. So again, it's supposed to be a half cup. I double the recipe, so it's now a full cup. You can use light cream, but you know, if you want a thicker sauce as it should be, heavy cream is the best way to go. So that's all set. I'm gonna mix it all up. Again, another five minutes or so until it's all nice and mixed. Turn off the heat, this way it has a chance to thicken up. And then once it's all done, serve it with none or any sort of bread. You have a delicious, delicious meal. Um, again, this is using the stainless steel wok, so the heat stays very, very even. This is very easy to clean, dishwasher safe. I'm using one of our scrapers as well. This is the medium sized scraper. I used our quick slice to actually cut the onion. Um, if you want chunkiness in the onion, you can use this quick slice. What I do is I actually slice it down, then take the chunk as it's sliced, turn it, and slice it again. This way you get little squares. You have smaller bite size. So you'll still be able to taste it. It's not completely minced or cut up like you would in the manual food processor that you don't actually crunch it and you just get the flavor. This you'll actually taste when you're eating the chicken. So once I'm done, I will take a few pictures. I'll post everything. Um, please make sure to like and share. If you have any questions, you know how to reach me. Thanks a lot, guys. Have a good night.